Zürich, das ist der Achtenberg. Das ist der Achtenberg. trying to get every little speck of wax out by doing so we can cause more trauma to it. We're going to get blocked out if it's quite wet so around the edges. We're going to leave all that, that'll dry up. I'm just going to get a different instrument to remove that. It is really bruised and I don't want to add to any trauma. Mm. There's a bit of wax left on the canal wall, the bony part. Mm. And yeah, tap it out actually. It's a bit accessible, let's get that out too. Swelling near the eardrum on the ear canal, but that'll be fine, that'll settle. Your eardrum's fully visible mm -hmm. and you should be feeling 100%. How's that for you? Yeah. Yeah. Right, just oh, that's better. Right, the entrance is good. All the fullness, you know, the, the horrible feeling's gone. It's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. So I want you to avoid water in your ear. Um, you should be avoid water in your ear anyway. Yes. Because that can cause infection because of this bruising and swelling um, mm -hmm. and the skin slightly grey, so the bones. Possibly slightly exposed as well, and you can just aggravate a uh, possible infection with water in your ear. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. Okay. I'll show you the video in a moment. Yeah. Hear about me? Was it just a Google search? Or? Google search, yeah. Good old Google, eh? Yeah, the 2.5 <laughs> meters. You've seen the article out here. So in both ears you've got um, 
protrusion of the bony part of the ear canal, the front part, I thought mm. it was swelling. I don't know. The fact that you've got it in both ears, I think it's just that your anatomical ear, really, you've got this uh, bony protrusion I'll show you on the camera, and wax can get stuck behind that, unfortunately. Mm. But otherwise, yeah, the ears are nice and clear. A bit of dead skin that will shed and actually migrate. But I'm really happy with that. How are mm. you? Yeah, good. Fantastic. I can hear. 